right guys we finally have come to it <sighs> time to make it official time to make the sunfire the sunfire bird so this of course is not mounted yet that is a 17 dollars scoop off your amazonian site the sticker she was a little bit more she come from the ebay edge type store and uh what we did first is we made sure we washed the whole car and man she shines she shines like a brand new penny so we washed the car real good we dried it off with a uh, chamois that way so we didn't get any dirt contaminants whatever underneath this um i am purposely mounting the bird first because the scoop you know we're going to kind of play around with it i think and um, i forgot to paint it so that's another reason hooray me <laughs> also i uh, have somehow misplaced my sunfire bird emblems that i made especially for this car don't know how that happened because i said all right self because that's what i say to myself when i talk to myself i say self we're going to put these someplace safe where we won't lose them and i lost them so anyway back to other stuff i guess um what you're going to want to make sure is that you are centered and i just went simply off of this and just kind of slid it upwards now to get a lot better measurement i'm also going to go from the top of this to here and from here to here from there to there well i don't really think there but you know just measure it evenly at different points if you come up with like the same number or something i, I think that's good that's the way we're going to do it and we're also going to get some painters tape out we're going to do this bird in two sections and we're going to do it with dawn dish soap liquid stuff and water and then we're going to squeegee it half and we're going to peel the other side we're going to squeegee that half and hopefully I mean, hopefully it looks way more gooder whenever we get done. So uh, let me get my stuff set up because I did not prepare. I, I know, it's like totally on me, right? Oop, that's pretty much what I do. So anyway, let me get this set up real quick and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get my tape and soapy stuff and magic and all that. All right, guys, so I'm leaned in like a football coach because uh, I've got you sitting on my fan while I do this. So, the first step I got, some soapy water. Also got me razor blade. So, since I have this all measured out to what I believe is, you know, gooder, I'm gonna start with this corner. If you're doing this by yourself, campers, Make sure your uh, soapy water is close. And what I'm doing is I'm peeling half of this decal back. Okay? Why half? Well, because it's hard to do the whole darn thing by yourself. Right? So, why I have it like this. There we go. Now. You cut that, you throw that out of the way. Now, you go down here, you pick this bad boy up. And I promise you, <laughs> this ain't Windex. I know it might say it or some sort of glass cleaner on it, but I just went up to the house and made it. So, this is, this is the wet method. So what we're doing, we're going to slowly squeegee all this out. And I probably put way too much soap on it. That's okay. I'd rather have too much soap than not enough because we'll make it spread a little easier. We're going to spread that out until we feel new and really good and confident. And you want to keep on your paper so you don't scratch your paint. 
And there is no time limit to this, guys. There's no time limit. You go until you feel that you've got the water out of it, the soap out of it, what have you. There's no time limit. I went with Super Sudsy just because I like party. And uh, I went with a little less than half of the uh, decal just because I thought it might be a little easier to. Now hopefully this is a good decal. If it is, then we, then we won. You know what I mean? Uh. Now, excuse me. I'm noticing down here that I don't think it's sticking because I put too much soap. You may not want to be as liberal as I was with soap. And believe me, liberal is something I generally... And like I say, believe me, liberal is something I generally don't say in this garage. We don't, we don't, you know, it's just... But I think we got that pretty good. So we're just... So all we're doing is mashing that water right out of there. See how it's coming out? We're trying to eliminate the need for any bubbles. The only bubbles we like are on the trailer park, boys. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's coming right out of there. That's the stuff you want out. Okay, don't freak out. The paper may slide a little, I'm not sure. I try to make it not slide, I put tape down. You're gonna to wanna to put tape down, you know, to prevent slidage. And you don't have to press super hard. I mean, this is just, you know, I pet the kitty cats harder than this, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta go hard enough, that's all. And kids, I think we got this part. And I, I'm not trying to rush it, but man, I'm pretty excited to see what the heck this looks like. So, we're going to, uh, we're gonna attempt to do the rest the exact same way. So, you saw that part, I'm just gonna basically, I might move to here, cut again, and then do the rest. It just depends. I mean, if I think it's going well, I might just slowly pull it and along the way. Um, but I'll let you guys know which one I do. Um, I hope you guys could hear me. So I removed this tape first. I made up a soapy solution. I personally use Dawn dish soap and water. And I don't really know the the mixture I used um, because you know I didn't measure it but just make it a good soapy solution and I was I used a lot of soap so it could slide around a little probably not a great idea but you know it's gonna work and it's gonna work just fine so while I pull this off I am actually going to keep my hand here to make sure if this did not stick as good because somebody put a lot of soap on it um that it doesn't move so we're going to peel this way until she's done ski we're going to push it all out of there and then we're going to reveal this stuff right here we're just going to real easy and we're going to see the sunfire bird and then i'll let you know what we got in her what we have in our project build now I just got to take this bird off, so give me like, a, let's see, it's a dark 30 a little bit. So give me, give me like 10, 15 minutes. And if you hear screaming, it's because I forgot to turn off the daggone camera. So, all right, just give me a few minutes. Um, well, we got it. It was um, tricky, just to say the least. And I may have went a little haywire, um, but I got to show you. 
So I decided to go ahead and complete all of it with the exception of the scoop, the pinch drive. I just, I gotta show you. I mean, look at this. I did all of this. Now, keep in mind guys, I'm not a paint and body guy at all. At all. Sorry. But, there's our bird. And I think she looks tough. Well, there we go. I mean, I don't know if I should add any more gold down in here. I was kind of thinking no. But look at the sides here. I did it just like the original Bandito. So some around there. I put this down the side just because, and I did it with the actual body lines on it. Like this car, it comes out, so, you know. And I did a little extra extra. Check this sucker out, right around the tail light. I think that might be my favorite pinch try. And then of course we made it match down that side. But you know, um, if you're going to do your own pinch drive, make sure you cut little relief cuts here. Everywhere where it is not like the regular body. Um, because if not, it's going to end up peeling off after time. If you stretched it tight, I stretched mine tight. Um, which also, these curves were extremely tight. I mean extremely tight, so it goes slow on those. As you peel that back, push it down as you're going, if you're gonna try this. Now, if you lay it down and you don't like it, just pick it straight off. Um, I believe I'm gonna keep all these. I kinda like them all, you know. And, like I say, this is a tribute type car. I even did the sunroof. Why? Well, because the original bandit had them on the T-tops. I thought it was pretty cool. And there's gonna be at least one more part around this scoop. Whenever I permanently mount this scoop, there's gonna be a gold outline and there's gonna be a gold stripe, pinch stripe along the back, <laughs> along with 2.2L. Yes, we're gonna show our displacement with pride. Why? Why not? I mean, it's a fun car, right? Now, just to break, break this down in perspective for you, if I can find my phone, I actually wrote down prices for stuff. So let's just, for Google's sake, say that um, you found a car with good paint. You saved 700 bucks, at least, if you did it yourself. If yours had good tires you if you had the the rims and tires that you liked okay let's just say let's just say it's not in your budget which is fine um these tires i have 500 dollars in that's the truth i have approximately ten dollars and a can of paint there's only one can of paint in those the only thing that's not really budget is those white letter the white letter, I hate to say, but I did spend $134 or something like that on it. I know, it was kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it added that much more flavor to the car. I love them. I think it looks great. So, if you save money on wheels and tires, go with the white letter, I would say. My own personal RTG center caps, I have $22 in those, all four, because... I made all of the center caps myself with the uh, Mrs. Crickets that she has. Um, okay. The tail light wrap. You guys probably can't tell it. I can't remember if I've shown you this. These tail lights are not painted. This is a wrap that they sell on the Amazonian site. It's honeycomb. How cool is that, huh? 
I have never seen a Sunfire or pretty much anything with the exception of a Trans Am with honeycomb tail lights. So that's a, that's a winner. Now the muffler is your personal preference. This one was Magnaflow. It does sound a lot better to me. I'm not saying that just because it's the name. I'm saying it because it's true. It was $90. The tail light wrap was $45. Uh, the bird. The gold bird. You can get it in different colors, not just gold. Uh, the bird was $189 plus tax on eBay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. The custom decals that now that's just for the decal material i will have sunfire bird down here up here and on the back bumper whenever it's whenever i find them really i don't know what i did with them but i had 15 dollars in material for that uh the center caps a total of 25 i must have looked them up 22 25 somewhere in there the pinstripe I have a total of $45 in. That stuff is some of the cheapest stuff that they sell on Amazon. And it's, I think it was 3M. And I'm pretty sure that I threw all of it away. The, it is called, uh, shoot. Well, professional striping system. And I don't know where the top of it went. It appears that I've like cut the crap out of it. What's that say? Nope. Come on. If you can make that out, it looks like it says TFX. And this is autumn gold. Um, I bought all of that. Like I say, um, for 45 bucks for both rolls. There's 50 foot per roll. I did all of this car and I still have plenty left. So, I mean, you can pick these cars up <laughs> relatively cheap. You know, I understand times are tough and, you know, not everybody has money to throw around and do a, a, an expensive build. But us car guys, man, we got to stick together. And if I could, if this was the only car that I had, I'm going to do it the way that I can do it to make it stand out. I can honestly tell you, I have never seen anything even remotely like this on the internet. Nothing. At all. I have looked. I've tried to get ideas. There are none out there. You know, you don't have to do a bandit one. You can do something else if you want. I bought a hockey stripe for this car here. A hockey stripe never come on an IROC. You can put a hockey stripe on a Cavalier, on a Chevy truck, on a Ford truck, heck, whatever you want. You know, make your ride custom for you. Do something that whenever you drive down the road, people are saying, you know what? That's pretty neat. Steal your ideas. I mean, shoot, half of this, I mean, all of this, really. All of this come from a 1977 Trans Am. Some of it, I just won gold wheels i just i won it they originally was going to be black wheels uh, but i mean you know just have a vision and roll with it you know and um, i'm happy to say that this budget build was still pretty cheap um i wish i had the exact numbers i was, was kind of winging it the total cost of this, I'm not really sure. It's less than two grand, I believe, because I only have $300. Actually, I don't even have $300 in the car itself. I traded an engine for the car that I didn't have anything in. And that's hashtag winning. So I traded for it. I've put money in it, and that's why I put more money into it than probably what I should have, because I initially don't have any cost in the car. Um, if I'd have bought it for 2,500, that may have been a little different. But if I bought it for 2,500, the paint should be good. The tires are probably good. It might even have aftermarket wheels on it already. 
So that's what I'm saying. You can go out and buy you $300 worth of sticker and pinch drive, or you can even find cheaper stickers. The only reason why this one's so much is because so many people like to put it on their Trans Ams. This is for a 98 to 02 Trans Am. And as you see, it fits, I mean, perfect. Just straight up perfect. So that works for a, I don't even know what year they started making Sunfire to uh, at least an 02. I think that's what year this one is. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this build. I personally have loved it. It's time to get back to where we were supposed to have been. <sighs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Things have been crazy. Um, and hopefully I can get back to that and with real soon. Um, I may be having a shoulder surgery soon. So, you know, we're going to play it by ear. I may not be able to make as many of these episodes if I have been here lately i've been putting them out once a week i doubt that i'm gonna be able to do that because if this shoulder goes down uh we're gonna be down for a little bit so bear with me we'll have more shows coming this definitely in the end and as always guys if you don't mind just right down somewhere there hit that hit that like and subscribe button pretty please sugar on top let's get the 150 can we and uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Right Turn Garage TV.